Welcome back to the channel. This is Valone's RC Hobby, and I got another episode for you of Show Us Your RCs. Uh, Afonso Freitas got in touch with me when he saw my post that I put out of showing us his RCs, and he actually has his own YouTube channel as well, Fonzi RC, and uh, definitely go check that out. And uh, he sent me some pictures of some of the things that he was working on and some real nice custom stuff. I mean, some of the pictures he sent me, these cars look like works of art that he created. So I was really intrigued by what he showed. And I'm like, oh, my God, I got to get him on here. So uh, I am pleased to introduce uh, Afonso Freitas. If I said that right, I, I apologize if I messed up. <laughs> um, and you're out of the UK, correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm currently living in the UK. Okay. Okay. Um, and then what oh, do you got there for us? Uh, nice. I've got a lot. So big selection of, well, a few one fifth scales, um, a lot of one uh, sixteens, one twelves. Okay. Um, some custom ones. Um, some Tamayas on the floor down here. I know you like your Tamayas as well. Yeah, for or sure. Tamiyas. Yeah, or Tamiyas. However, yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> Very cool. So I've got I a couple of. Well, the first thing that's catching my eye, of course, is that little is that a little Mercedes you got down there, a little red Mercedes. That one. Yeah. Can you see all right from there? Yeah, if you want to bring it closer, that would be awesome. Right, this was a basically a toy, which I turned into hobby grade. Wow. So it's got everything on it. Turning lights, headlights on and off, uh, sound system. Sound system? Uh, Hobby Wing 360. <laughs> um, nice. I've actually got a music system also, so obviously engine system sound. And I've yeah. got a Bluetooth system in there also. And that was a toy? Um, so I mean, yeah, uh, so that, that body was, yeah, a, that toy? was a toy? Wow. Where, what, 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 what brand? I believe it's called a a double nine double nine by uh, I, I think that company is actually around anymore. I think it was called Fast Racing. Okay. But I don't really recall the make. Um, you, you probably find it on the internet, but they're hard to come by. Wow, um, that looks definitely. beautiful. So yeah, this was a a bit of a bargain. Yeah, thank you. So, obviously, all the hood opens and all the doors are functional as well. Okay. Um, you got the... Ah, uh, a little seat rumble seat. <laughs> Very cool. So, yeah. It's got a few custom-made parts on it. I've made the rear lights myself because there was none in there. Wow, that looks awesome. Man, what a piece. Do you, yeah. And do you drive it at all, or is it more of a shelf queen? I do, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Oh, you only have one shelf queen. Oh, yeah. What's that? <laughs> that's the one standing on the stand right over there. Can you okay. See? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's my shelf queen. I, I had it for about three years. But oh. Never touched the ground. Wow. <laughs> Very cool. You should sell it, really. And then what's the big uh, one next to it there? That one. Um, that's the Bill of the Beast. Man. That's a, oh my lord! He weighs twenty kilos. <laughs> right. What is that? That's that a looks Lossy awesome. Five T. Ah, okay. It and was it was a original Lossy Five T, but obviously has got my touch to it. Wow! And you what designed the body or? Uh, yeah, yeah, I made it myself. Um, Dang. I made everything myself, the body, um, the light mounts, I mean, everything on it, free. all the body clips, uh -huh. as it mounts, all custom made by me. That is yeah, incredible, man. It was, <laughs> I mean, that could be the next design for maybe a Batmobile or something, I'm telling you. Sorry. That, that. Oh, yeah. So the, I was saying that looks like something that could be the next design for the Batmobile. <laughs> you know, I could see Christian Bale yeah, in definitely. there. 
Very yeah, cool. I mean, it's, it's, um, it's a big old rig. It does, it does weigh a lot. Uh, um, it's got a Scott Finlay engine on it, two stroke. Okay. Oh, wow. Sure if you've heard of it. Nice. Scott Finlay, OCC Pro Next. Got lots of upgrades. Um, a lot of my custom work. Um, I do also make uh, pots for the fifth scale. Okay. And how are you making well, these and tooling these uh, these pieces and parts? How are you doing that? Um, I've got my own little workshop. Back nice. The house. So, got a lathe and pillar drills and things like that. Oh, that's great. So, yeah. That's what it's all about, man. I mean, that's, that's yeah, what's that's really cool. cool. You do, need it. you do need it if you are into the hobby. You do need it. It does save you a lot of money if you get all the tools. Sure. Wow, that's awesome. All right, keep going. What else you got to want to show us? I've got. I'm sure you've got your eye on some stuff, um, like um, little yeah. stuff. I'd say custom made rat rod. Should I say it? Nice. And what's the platform there? What did you start off with? Um, scrap metal. No kidding. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's great, man. Look at you. I saw that picture when you emailed me, and I'm like, oh, my God, look at this. You're doing some great tooling, man. If, yeah, if you get closer here, show the people. Uh, look at that, guys. Is that cool or what? We're going to be buying um, RCs from you it's soon. It's got the old um, walking dead brake in there as a driver. Okay. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably a bit too dark for it, but it is in there somewhere. Uh-huh. Right, so yeah, it's basically made of scrap metal and spare parts that I had lying around. Basically, they were going in the bin, so I thought I may as well make use of it. Wow. And that's how it came out. And that runs and drives too? Yeah, yeah. Fully nice. remote control. That's great. Yeah, yeah so yeah, that's that one. Um, um, we got Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> so harry potter fans out there if you're there look at that that's great and you tool oh, all... that's Everything sweet custom. gosh um, the other thing i haven't made was the rear bed that came from a J jrc q 62 i believe okay um just a lot of spare parts i mean even the little engine is actually custom made. It doesn't run, but kind of looks real. Oh, and it looks great on the shelf. Are you kidding? Yeah, that's uh, fully functional, radio control. Sweet. Rear wheel drive. <laughs> in there. Very cool. And pretty much all my stuff. All my stuff runs on the fly sky gear, so. That runs on the proper hobby stuff. Okay. But I was gonna see, so what do you got up against the, the chest over there? The the car's vertical, the wheels are up. There's three of them there. Oh oh I see. Yeah, yeah. Any one of them. Right, that's a loss the W WRC, which originally was a mini. I don't know if you recall it like four or five years back. Okay. Lossy released the mini for the time. Uh huh. That's okay. Basically, a mini which I put buggy. Okay. So instead of a mini, we converted into that. That's a HPI Baja. Okay. It was a original V1. And that's, uh, I'm afraid, that's a clone. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that and was a. I get that one out from it. Okay. Basically, chassis and the general fig is same as that. And that is pretty much similar to that. All right. If you could bring one of them to the camera, yeah, that would be great so we can see. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> that one, that's a bit lighter. So, here we go. That's us uh, Can you see all right like that, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Two stroke. That's uh, a KM King Motor. 
it was a KM01, I believe. It's got a few upgrades and a few of my custom parts, um, like the wheelie bar. Yeah. Custom made by me. Man. That was actually a full wheelie. A little beast, man. That's great. It is. Wow. It does weigh quite a fair bit as well, about 13 kilos. Oh, wow. Okay. And you run and drive that too, or is it more uh, just the shelf? No, no, no. The other shelf queen is the XCR, the one on the stand. Okay, so that's cool. Everything else, everything else gets driven. Maybe nice. not as often, but even. Okay. Put that one back. Right. Okay, uh, um, let's go back to lighter stuff. I'm getting tired lifting all this reach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a cool that truck. There. That was awesome. When I saw that, that picture you sent me, I'm like, damn, that looks great. So what's that um, about? You made that from scratch? Yeah. Wow. That's from scratch. The only thing I haven't made is the cab. That's the JJ RC Q60. Okay. And everything else is custom made, built around it. And what kind of mechan what kind of internals you have in these things? What kind of uh, motors and gearing? I mean, if you want to describe um, that. It's 101. This is 101. 370 motor. Uh, single speed. So it's got plenty of torque. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't go anywhere. I actually put a video up recently on my channel with this one a couple okay. of days ago, I believe. Uh, they run LiPo, 2S LiPo. It's only got a cheap ESC on there, like a 30 amp ESC. And what else? Steering servo, as you would normally. And like Fly Sky radio gear. And that's pretty much it, really. Man, that's a work of art, yeah. man. That looks awesome. The the tooling that you're doing and the features you're putting on it, the detail is awesome. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. So, yeah, everything is posted to the wheels. I bought the wheels. I'm not going to say I made them because I <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, that's, um, that's a key ring, by the way, which I changed it into a little turbo. Okay. Sweet. Um. That's the ring also, That's the, which I took the back off and made into the front grill. That's nice. Everything else custom made bumpers and the lights, light mounts. Even the deep, I actually custom made it myself. Is anything 3D printed or you just, you actually tool everything? I, I'm actually old school. I, I prefer to get my hands and give it a try. Nice. If it works. Uh, if it doesn't, then one day I might give it a 3D print to go. But for now, uh, I quite like um, getting my hands dirty, really. I like it. See if I can make it. If I can't, then yeah, there is that option. But I haven't got one, by the way. So I can't 3D print. <laughs> <sighs> Handmade. That's great, man. That looks awesome. I love it. You can sell those. <laughs> you should. <laughs> Uh -huh. so, uh, that you build yourself it takes a long time to actually build so you don't want to sell it really it's, really, it's like all trophy only one in a world right <laughs> so yeah that's, that's that one plenty more there to see I mean I was quite big into one fifth scale and then I changed into the smaller stuff that's why you, you see a lot of smaller stuff right now right I mean, i've got a lot of dpls as you can see there's a quite a lot of data pls and a few mns not sure if you are familiar with the brands but i'm sure you are i'm sure you have seen it. a little bit yeah I'm, I'm getting i'm getting closer to jbl you said wpl oh uh, you broke up there i'm sorry WPL. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'm, nice. I, I'm coming to me. I'm, I'm, I'm still getting into the smaller stuff, you know. I'm primarily right. one-tenth and up. 
like this. This is one of my latest one from them. You can see so he's made me feel yeah. Nice. Um, that's a cheap crawler. That's like 60 pounds. It's about eighty dollars. UK yep. well US. Fully proportional. You build it yourself. That's the great thing is you actually build it yourself. So I mean it's dead cheap and this thing can can do some amazing stuff. That's cool. Really cool. Very yeah, nice. They very well detailed really as 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 they come from from David PL. I mean you got a lot of detailing inside and opening doors and this one runs on the Hobby Wing 1060 also. So, oh, okay. Uh, so, well, that's an optional. It doesn't come with electrics as a kit. But I've got that as an option. Uh, and so, yeah, I've got the steering wheel moving also with the remotes and things like that. So, yeah, they're decent. And that's as a kit or it's ready to run? You can, they only sell this one as a kit. Okay. So, but that's, I mean, it's a great idea, especially for people starting the hobby. I mean, yeah. it's cheap and quite effective. Cheap and effective, that's all we need. <laughs> there, there you go. And where would somebody buy buy something like that? The, there is a, a website, a China website, but quite safe. Don't be scared to buy it from there. They're, they're very good people. Um, I can. Well, I can't, I can send you a link actually by email if you like. Yeah, and I could put it in the description below the video if anybody wants to look into that. Yeah, sure. No problem. Yeah, I mean, you find them everywhere realistically, but I always recommend the official website because you know you're getting the latest. Because sites like Banggood or AliExpress, sometimes they have old stock and it's not exactly the same as the new stock, the old stock. They have different gearing, plastic gears. And a few other bits. So if you go to the manufacturer direct, you guaranteed you get the best of it. Oh, cool. Okay. Awesome. So. And I've got. Yeah, come on, come on, Chris. Anything else? What do you want to? Gonna... <laughs> yeah. Um, I've got a little. Ah, just like yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, man. Turn that into brushless as well. Okay. And what system did I've you put in there? Didn't. Not yet, but I'll be going for the subclass 1040 stock size for 6080 KV. Oh, wow. And the 60 amp. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm trying to do a speed. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 you saw mine and uh, it got squirrely after a while. You know, once you hit up around 35, 37 miles an hour, she just wants to flip around. But I'd uh, be interested to see yeah. if you're able to keep it on the ground. <laughs> well, I do have a few plans for it. So that will be one of them. All the electrics that I'm going to change over. I'll be using the Fly Sky GT5 gear on it. Um, planning to change the aerodynamics a bit. Yeah. Hopefully that will keep. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> now, are you planning on getting that ZD racing, the, the Hoonigan? Uh, not really. Yep. I canceled my order. <laughs> I had it on order with Banggood, and I, I canceled it. I said, you know what? Um, I saw the... I saw the RC Kiwis do their video exactly. and, uh, you know, I interviewed yeah. them and uh, they're a nice couple. And uh, once I saw his video, I'm like, you know what? Cause I, I, yeah. I haven't had the greatest experience with ZD. I mean, their, uh, their pirates, three monster truck broke. And then I did a review recently on the little rocket, which is a great little desert buggy. Uh, but sure enough, uh, through the grapevine, I heard like the more times you run it, you start to hear the gears click and the diffs start to go. And oh, so man. I did second run of that little rocket. I hear the gears starting to click already. And I'm like, it's second run. Are you kidding? So once, uh, once that I saw that, and then I saw it catch fire on the Kiwis video and 
batteries aren't that great. The servo's not that great. Over 600 bucks. I'm like, you know what? Cancel that. I'm getting my armor felony back. And that's what I, exactly what I did this week. So <laughs> that's my theory also. From the beginning, I always said, I mean, it's not much difference to the real thing. Why should you get that instead? Yeah. I first choose the armor. Of course. Tried and true and parts availability and support, it's all there. And it's a beast. I mean, the thing, you can rock that thing and it just, it's very durable. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly that. So what do you got, oh, Tamiya? Yeah, you got any, you do you have a Tamiya there? Got a couple of them. There is, there is the old grasshopper. Oh, there you go. Right. Yep. Paint job is not the greatest on it, but it's <laughs> still a grasshopper. Yep. It is a Riri, not the original. Okay. I mean, I wasn't into the hobby until 2006 or seven. So everything I got this since then. Okay. But it's great little fun. Fun little track. That was one of the cars that started it all back in the eighties, man. I mean, that was right. it. It's, uh, you know, I almost got that car when I was a kid because everybody had it, you know, a grasshopper or a frog or something. Um, and I went with the Falcon instead. Right. Yeah. I never had any of them until, until I could afford to buy my own. There, there you go. So, yeah, that's that one. And I'll say another one. You're probably going to find this strange. But that's another one there. <laughs> And what is that? That's called the Wild Ones. Sweet. It is at the Maya as well. Wow. <laughs> Very cool. Paint job on it. It's got... <laughs> now, you got your own paint booth? You got a spray gun? Um, actually, I do have a spraying kit also. And yeah, like an airbrush kit. But I didn't make this paint job myself. Nice. It's actually a friend of mine. Okay. He's done it for his daughter. Uh, she was a bit too young, so he got rid of it, and uh, I've got it for my youngest daughter. Oh, there you go. Very Definitely good. Different. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's not a. That's an original. Nice. The only original I've got from tonight. <laughs> right. Um, where else? Got this little thing in here, which is quite an interesting thing. There you go. Nice right, little, little, nice little crawler there. What's that? That's same RBRC. Uh, he uses a lot of uh, WPL pots. Mm -hmm. so basically, you get the chassis and be aware they come twisted from factory. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I had to actually cut, well, I had to actually weld this one back square because it was all twisted. Wow. So, but apart from that, that's uh, all good. Um, works really well. 60 amp PSC in there again. Full, full metal gears, drivetrain. Uh, everything is metal on it, really. Linkages. Um, suspension is uh, kind of a custom made suspension, also. Nice. The suspension still stays, but I changed it and add oil and changed the springs and a few things on there. 114 so, scale or 112? Uh, I would say that's more 116 scale. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Mind you, Duke. <laughs> yeah, they're small, but they're cool. It's such a big scene now. I'm just getting my way into crawling. And I did a video recently on the Axial Capra. And it's amazing wow. that I, I can't believe the following behind crawlers. And when I showed the video to my wife, now all of a sudden she wants to get involved in crawling uh, because they're slower. And it's, you know, she likes the skill factor involved with it. So very cool. That was me like two years back. That section there. One fish scale, petrol, fast. Forget about anything else. Yep. But my first one, which was that, it was dirt cheap. <laughs> that was only like 20, 
20 pounds, like $25. No kidding. Yeah. And again, they have EPL. There you go, man. Um, change it. Yeah, and that's what got me started in the mold tube stuff, really. Yep. Got full custom made suspension. Damn, man. Obviously, I made those. It's great. I made those myself. <laughs> Very yeah, cool. Okay. And is this your Obviously. business or is this just a hobby? I do it for myself now, but there is a side of a business to it. Okay. Um, there is a website in uh, D- Detroit, a hobby shop in Detroit that sells it, um, oh. which is Detroit RC. And also in the UK, RC Max UK, they actually got my parts in stock. And oh, that's great, man. Me. Good for so, you. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. yeah, well, I guess it, it brings in a bit of a extra extra money for the hobby so they spend more on it they i know <laughs> and what do we got there uh, a jjrc q60 mm-hmm. so same carbon hot rod but moonshine and obviously it's got a little moonshine kit on it that's awesome how cool man that looks great yeah and what did you build on that? What did you put on that car? Um, believe it or not, underneath it is pretty much stock. Okay. Apart from ESC and receiver. Sweet. Everything else still stock. Still, most of the little crawlers they come with actual lock diffs. This is open diffs throughout. Uh, apart from that, yeah, I mean, I changed the look of it, so it looks different. But running gear is stock. It's just a fun little read for a little trail sometimes. Yeah. It's pretty cool. That's sweet. So, yeah, that's that one. Let me know if I'm boring you too much. <laughs> yeah, show us one more, and uh, we'll we'll call we'll wrap it up for today. But give me a good one here. What are you What are you proud of? Well, that's hard. I, like all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I know that could be tough sometimes. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see this to get people into the hobby. So this is a little. Project that I've got from AliExpress. It cost me about twenty-eight dollars, I believe. Wow, cheap. It's, and just to prove people that you can actually enjoy yourself into the hobby without having to spend tons of money. Okay. Um, what I built basically. I still the stock color. I just had a lot of stickers that I had. It's running a cheap PSC on it. Uh, 30 amp PSC. Still running the stock motor, 180 motor. From factory does come with metal gears on the dip as well. So that's a bonus. But from that, just uh, make it good. I added some wheel weights. So as a crawler, you'll need some down weights and sprank, and that's what it's there for. Made my own. Uh, um, wheel widening kits um they're not that wide from the factory so i kind of made my own bands okay machined them out and glued them on into the original hub sweet uh, so it extends it a bit yeah kind of gives a bit of a wider look wider stance so yeah that's like 28 dollars from that was from aliexpress and what's the name of the, the car okay. That's a C24-1. Okay. It's made by WPL. WPL again. Oh, wow. Cheap. Cheap. Yep. I mean, if you do have a chance, check it out. I've put some videos up. Okay. Check it out. It's on my channel if you want to have a look at it. Um, I do like this little stuff myself now. You know, I, I even thought to get something inexpensive like that and, you know, yeah. change the bodies on them to say a beetle body, a Volkswagen beetle body, 
Uh, Cause those are out there because I have fans with my other channel, my Volkswagen channel. And I think the you know, way to get them into the hobby possibly. I do have a bit of a body. Oh the yeah. Color. Okay. I know you want me to go and get it. It's not in here. It's yeah. Just there. That's okay. Go ahead. We'd yeah. love to see it. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you think guys? I think he's got a hell of a collection. I mean, he's super talented. Uh, you don't see many guys like this, uh, especially getting their hands dirty uh, to show their stuff. So uh, they, that looks all. Awesome. I mean, some of those those beasts over there just look awesome. You know, something like out of Mad Max or something, right? But uh, this guy is talented for sure. I'm sorry about the audio if it's breaking up. I think it's because it's in the, he's in the UK. All right. Oh, let's see it. There we go. Is that on top of the red cat? Uh, no. <laughs> no. That's on top of the HBI Mavic. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, because it looks similar to the red cat. Red cat Everest, I think. Is, is yeah, I believe they copy each other, or one copies the other. I'm not sure. They all look very similar. Yeah. So. Oh, that looks uh, great. The only painted myself, obviously. Uh huh. <laughs> Uh, that's that. Change there you... the suspension on it. So it's, it's oh. A, a, a... oh man, yeah, look at that twist. Sweet. So yeah, and... that's my only one body. And then how much is that kind um, of car? The yeah, chassis. Not expensive, really. I think they're around probably around 180 US. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, because I think the Everest is around there too. Yeah, somewhere around there. And um, but like for like, they are pretty much the same price. Okay. If you want to get into it, I would suggest you that one instead. That's a bigger one. What's that one? Uh, it's actually the same scale, but it's a FTX uh, Muller or Mauler. More, okay. Yeah. I changed the wheels on it because they were too hot. Okay. I changed it to really soft. Uh, you're not going to like this, but they are ZD Racing. <laughs> well, the ZD Racing <laughs> Rocket tires, I had to say, were pretty pretty nice. I want to save those. <laughs> yeah. They, they are ZD Racing uh, wheels and tires. Yeah, but it's a very capable crawler, that is. Much better than the HBI Mavic. Okay, and that's a bang good thing you can get? No, you can actually get it in the US anywhere, really. No FTX kidding. FTX is available everywhere. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The Mauler. So that's that. Yeah. Nice. Uh, one more. <laughs> that's good. Uh, There's the rocket tires. Okay. That's right. And I use them as a crawler. Nice. I know they are backwards. I put them that way for a purpose to see the difference in between actually flashing the right way and the, the wrong way. See if it makes any difference. But not really. No, really. <laughs> and uh, so what, what um, car do we have there? This is a MN FJ40. Well, it was originally before I've done all this. It comes with a plastic bed. Um, the chassis is actually a shorter wheelbase. I've changed that. I've extended the wheelbase for another inch, widened it about inch and a half. Where well, you got the wide stance also. Uh huh. I made my own bed and made my rack or roof bars or I'm not sure how you're going to call it and made the front bumpers and everything and work. Working winch also. Sweet um, man. My my um, side steps as well. Nice. So, yeah. Everything you... is upgrade. Metal, metal diffs, two speed gearbox, uh, three seventy motor, pedal shafts. You know it. It's got it. You are a busy man. I mean, I tell you, you you got some great ideas here and. Uh... People should be 
I'm, I'm admired to see what you're doing because it's great to see people still tooling and wrenching. You know, again, it's something that's like become a dying art these days. And uh, that's yeah, that's fortunately, yeah, everybody goes the easy way 3D printing. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Anybody can go, <laughs> done. <laughs> it's right. not the same as yourself, you know. For sure, for sure. And you, yeah. you grew up like me, you grew up in the 80s and the 90s? That's right, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Coming back from uh, the poor family, learning how to do stuff by yourself, and that's what you get. That's right. That's right. That's great. Oh, it's great, man. Well, Afonso, this has been awesome, man. And you got a great collection there. Truly, truly uh, envious of what you got there. You got it's incredible stuff. And what's nice is you got personal stuff there, stuff that you've touched. And and you got your hands dirty on that stuff. It's it's easy enough, like you said, to go out and get a ready-to-run vehicle and go bash around. But there's an emotional connection there when you're creating your own work of art. Uh, and to see it running and driving or to even just be displayed on your shelf. It's just, uh, it is a treat. So, um, so guys yeah. definitely go check him out. Fonzie RC, he's on YouTube and, uh, I really appreciate you coming out here. I know our time differences are a little off, but really appreciate you coming out. I want to keep in touch with you. Let's, let's definitely stay in touch and, uh, sub for sub, okay. you know, and, uh, I hope we could do another video maybe down the line. It'd be great to see a video. We could do this maybe, when you're outside running something and uh that would be sweet yeah I, my only problem with that is so uh, obviously i work monday to friday sometimes on a saturday like so but that's cool i'm sure we can arrange it we can arrange it for and, sure uh, man thanks for having me on chris much appreciated uh you're very welcome man i really appreciate you coming out here so but uh, guys, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And uh, this has been awesome. So I'm going to be bringing you RC content like this each and every week. And if you want to show me your RC, again, hit me up at valonesrc at gmail.com. That is the best way to contact me. Send me some sample pictures of what kind of cars you have, and then I can get you on this show. Please be patient. I am getting pounded with emails on a daily basis with people wanting to, get, to come on. So I will get to you. But um, all right, guys. Take care.